Hello guys, welcome to Ashley Lancel's show. Today we're going to do a review of Thor Ragnarok. Now you like her. <laughs> yes, video. flat as a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Please subscribe to the notification bell. <laughs> it's a porter channel. Save me from my wife trying to kill me. <laughs> uh, we watched it uh, today and uh, it came out. Uh, yesterday midnight, um, but we watched today early in the morning. Uh, the movie was Wasn't okay. Early it was one fifteen in the afternoon. Tomato, tomato. Who gives two shit? Ah, so uh, it's okay. Very one and two of Thor. I'm not much of a Thor person on my wife bit. She only watches it for Tom Hiddleston, Loki. <laughs> Uh, basically, I like Loki way before Tom Hiddleston. I like him. I'll sell you to him for a million dollars. Seriously? Home. Yeah. You'll sell me to our, uh, a Norse god? No, I'll sell to an actual actor. I'm sure he would not pay. Yeah. I'm sure he doesn't want me. You tried to get Taylor Swift. He did. He uh, broke up. He was, fell, he was heartbroken. He might mend his heart. Instead of beating the shit out of him all the time. <laughs> <laughs> sure I won't beat the shit out of um, him. Yeah. Well, I did not like Jeff Goldblum as the Grandmaster. Um, he was Grandmaster. I did not believe was, was in the comic. Uh, like... Well, that's how he actually talks too. I mean, he talks like a soothing voice. Like it's a, like kind of like yes. what a lawyer. Yeah. But no. Yeah, uh, Jeff Goldblum, I did not... I, he's I, a good actor! Yeah. But he's but just... He's not the part of No. They no. just wanted a big name. I remember, uh, in, in the car, uh, the leader was the, um, the Red King. And, uh, Hulk beat the shit out of him. And, uh, yeah. I have the Planet Hulk and the World War Hulk comics, so... There were no such thing as Grandmaster, I, I, if I remember correctly. If I'm not, please leave a comment and let me know. Probably. This was more of a comedy than action. It was more funny. It was more towards. I was uh, laughing. It was more towards Guardians of the Galaxy uh, than anything else. Um, They're trying. To... Yeah, I'm also trying to make but fun of adults. But the jokes they putting in it. Yeah. This is adult humor. Yeah. True. And uh, the whole. Thor Hulk... is more for adults, I think. Yeah. Guardians of the Galaxy definitely more for adults. Yeah. It's not a kid's. Yeah. And, and not I, a sexual. And I believe the Hulk was uh basically stole the show. Hulk, I think basically stole the show of Rock and Rock. Uh, it did not in the guys uh. We we see Hulk doing being the shit out of everything. You never actually see him as a sentimental person or like a whiny baby. This was shown. Actually, uh, Fox. Yeah. So it's it was crazy. Good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's good that they're going in depth with. Mm hmm. Want that? Yeah. Well, you that, want them to go in depth with every well, single character. I think this is like the only closest thing we actually get for that's actually a Hulk movie because they're not gonna make any more Hulk movies. They'll have the 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 writers, I believe. Um. Contract with the other uh, Fox? Fox or Universal, I believe. Oh no, that uh, uh. So they're they're you're getting glimpses of Hawk. For each. Yeah. So trying, they're trying to slowly do a background kind of. Thing yeah. for Avengers us. three, they're gonna have uh Hawk and uh 
uh, rocket. Uh, He's uh, gonna go raccoon. Yeah, rocket raccoon on uh, Hulk. It's just through. rocket. Yeah. Rocket doesn't know he's a raccoon. I think he does. He doesn't know he's from Earth. Not from Earth. Oh. He's from, I believe, Planet X in the Toyland. I have the comics. They I read it. Raccoons are. Hurt. No, he's actually a mechanical, biological being. He's actually. And then maybe it's a, a, experimented on to be able to do that, but he's an actual. No. Is that then no. the Guardians of the Galaxy? No, he. Well. They changed it. I believe so because I have the actual comic that the reprint of it. It's actually a toy from Toyland from, and uh, Groot was actually an evil guy from Planet X that made him to a good guy. That's hey, Bima. So yeah, uh, Black Panther's coming out later on. The movie was okay. I give it seven out of ten. Um, Ashley gives it the eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Um. Mm -hmm. I wish you would decide really going. It's not worth the money to go out watching the theater. Wait till Blu ray. That's what Especially... I'm doing with the new kids. I'm not being in a the theater with a bunch of horny women. I might be able to go there and be a whole bunch of horny women. I have things too. Would you look at my magic it's card older collection? Women. Don't worry, older women has more experience. I have more bust than you. Ah! So yeah, <laughs> so yeah, that, that's basically a review. Once there's more review, let us know. Uh, we probably gonna watch Black Panther. I'm watching The Last Jedi, uh, coming out next month. And uh, I'm actually gonna watch a movie. I don't know. I forgot what it was. Get the title, but uh, it's like a merman set in the 1920s. So boring. No. Boring. No, it's a romance. I have a romance. Want to go to the bedroom? It's by, uh, what's his name? Domo de Tora? That's the director. So, yeah. So, he did the. Uh... So, hope you guys liked the review. I hope it wasn't much of a spoiler, but, um, I hope you guys, uh, subscribe and notification bell, leave a comment, and we'll answer them as well. 150 subs, we're giving away Persona 5, anime, Marvel stuff, and you know it. So we just need about, what, 24 more subscribers to do that. And please share on your media and support us and what you guys want to see more of it. Well, anyhow, guys, we'll talk to you guys later.